he looking at me and then he swung at me. Tonight, Fox 13 investigates violent crimes on UTA trains and buses. All we've got to do is turn on your newscast and we see things that we can't believe. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, ridership has dropped 61%. Do you know who this is? But assaults on UTA drivers have skyrocketed. More than 150 cases since 2020. Holy crap, I would be totally scared. Not just on the drivers. You are not bringing that weapon on my bus. Fox 13 investigative reporter Adam Herbet spoke with former employees about what they think needs to change. Police say whoever shot up this bus in February was angry because he could not get out of the Burger King parking lot on 33 South and Highland Drive. So far, nobody has been arrested. We're all in a hurry to get somewhere. You've got your whopper. This man didn't deserve this. The bullets did not hit the driver, but he was scared. He was a new employee, his first time being the victim of violent crime as a UTA operator. It's disturbing. It's disappointing. It's appalling. We're upset about it. But at the same time, I can't say that we're shocked by it either. Carl Arkey is the spokesperson for UTA. We showed him the data we've compiled since January 2020. More than 150 assault cases against UTA employees. By the company's count, cases were in the single digits back in 2018. It went up during COVID and it hasn't stopped. Do you think the job is safe? Yes, I do. I really do think it's safe. It, it is a great company to work for. It's a great place to work. Yeah, that's the spokesperson. <laughs> Charlotte Bills was training to be a bus driver. She only worked for UTA for a few months and was never assaulted, but she has heard horror stories from coworkers. I think they do say they're safe because they're trying to get people to ride it more, but I just don't, I don't think they're that safe. He looking at me and then he swung at me, and but I did never did report that, to tell you the truth. Thomas Rudd was a UTA driver for six years. Before that, he was a Provo police officer. He says most employees start to become numb to the difficult passengers who argue or spit on them. Most arguments started with riders who didn't want to pay or wear a mask. If you're gonna have policies, enforce the dang things. <laughs> UTA says its drivers were never expected to enforce the mask mandate, but Rudd thinks refusing to enforce policies makes people feel entitled and eventually violent. He believes most assaults are never reported. I didn't figure that I would get any kind of results favorable to myself. The customer was always right, no matter what. Back at the Burger King near Highland Drive, this UTA driver's friend and coworker reported he had PTSD, that he needed more counseling, and that both UTA and the union were rushing him back to work too quickly. From UTA standpoint, he wasn't being forced back to work. I think he was under the impression that maybe he needed to get back to work sooner than he wanted to come back to work or felt he could come back to work. So there was probably a misunderstanding there. I think it's been cleared up and I think that, that he understands now and that and we've, we've addressed that with him. UTA says it does provide counseling and allows employees to receive workers' compensation if it's approved. According to UTA policy, employees are not allowed to speak with the media. Things happen. There's no question, things happen. How often do they happen? How severe are the incidents? Our review of the 150 cases show 75 were reported to UTA police. Some drivers complimented the department for arresting suspects in about half of those cases. Do you know who this man is? No idea. Stephen Hamblin is being charged with a hate crime. Police say he used his keychain as a weapon to assault a transgender driver on Redwood Road. He pleaded not guilty. The department's report shows it took them 17 minutes to respond. Do you know who this is? No idea. Police say he used a pooper scooper to assault a driver. Doesn't matter whether it's a lanyard or whatever that gentleman used. It's all unacceptable. In that case, police say it took them two minutes to respond, but records show on average 
Assaults on UTA workers take the department 12 to 12 and a half minutes to arrive. Should UTA be happy with a more than 12 minute response time? Uh, heavens no, I wouldn't think so. An acceptable one would be within two to three minutes. Does that seem slow I, to you, 12 and a half minutes? No, and, and I'll tell you why. Our police department does an amazing job. They're covering a system that stretches from Provo, Utah up to Ogden, Utah and goes from Tooele up to Park City. That's a lot of ground to cover. Typically, only UTA police respond to cases involving buses or trains, although sometimes they will call another agency to see if officers can get there faster. Rudd says UTA police fall behind because there's too much crime and not enough officers. My wife was thinking about coming to UTA and I said, absolutely not. No, I would not uh, let my mother ride on it. I respect that. Uh, everybody's entitled their opinion, but at the end of the day, I have to look at the numbers. There are so many people who get on board our, our trains and our buses every day and mind their manners, mind their own business. We're not perfect. I don't know anybody who is perfect, but we strive to be perfect. We try. Earlier this year, state legislators debated a bill that would increase penalties for those who commit crimes against transit workers. It did not pass. UTA says in the past few months, it has also implemented a new system where each case is reviewed after the fact to improve safety. The company says it's also making a more proactive effort now to stay in contact with victims. Reporting in studio tonight, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah. If you have a story you'd like the Fox 13 News investigative team to look into, send an email to iteam at fox13now.com or call the tip line at 801-536-1314.